What's up everyone? So today's a pretty exciting day. Not only is it the second day that Brian and I are going for a cruise, we have both of the bikes together now, we're going to pick up our dad's new motorcycle. So he's always been into bikes, that's how we got into bikes. And I think it's been... 2005. Maybe. Yeah, 2005 is the last motorcycle or street legal bike that he had. So now we're heading down, they're in the car, that way all three of us can ride home. So let's go. All right, so we just arrived. That was a pretty long ride. I actually rode like 85 miles home yesterday and now I think we just did about 20. So it was a long ride for him. That was the longest ride he's been on the bike so far. It was 38 miles. 30, oh, okay. Well, yeah, so 38 miles. And so we're here at the dealership. It looks like they got a pretty sweet event going out. A bunch of 16 and 17 bikes out front. Check out the new Maybe boxes. there's some demos that we could possibly ride. So we're about to check out my dad's new bike. He decided to pull the trigger and buy it. paying for the bike getting all that squared away my brother Mike is about to go on a demo ride so first here is the all-new R6 2017 model year looks super aggressive however it's pretty much the exact same bike underneath as my R6 so that's comforting to know I don't need to buy a new one so this is the F09 that Mike's gonna take out completely different style bike than what we're used to obviously but you know might as well give it a try all right so Mike is gearing up ready for the FZ09 once he stops moving, I can actually check if the GoPro's good. Get a good recording for me now, too. Alright, recording. Yeah. Well, I sat on the FZ09. It's so much different than our sport bike, so yeah. it'll be pretty cool. Okay. I'm excited. Have Everything never... look good? I think so. Yeah, it's the first naked style bike that I've ridden, or upright style bike. So. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, it's got it a... It has a sweet exhaust, too. Oh, there's yeah. three driving modes that I can go through. Yeah. So, right here, there's B, Standard, and A. Uh -huh. So rolling back off the throttle, I can change it. I think I just push on that button. So cool. I'll be able to experiment standard, race mode, and chilling, just yeah. cruising mode. What do you guys think? That looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> This is a lot different than a sport bike, that's for sure. Wow, I feel so upright. Oh, this is so weird. I feel so high on this bike right now. I like it though, so far, the, the driver position, you know, like my back's not gonna go out or anything, so it'll be interesting. I think we're going on a six mile cruise here. We got seven bikes here, so let's see. like this it feels almost like a dirt bike it's a little bit different but the seating position is kind of similar to a dirt bike here let's go ahead and put it all the way to aggressive race mode and I can't see anything in these side mirrors which is helpful to see some people here there we go Woo! aggressive definitely has a, a huge throttle response to it that's for sure I'm sure we'll be able to punch it here in a little bit. Ooh, you can hear some pops in that exhaust. It, de it has an aftermarket exhaust on it, but I'm not sure what kind. But initial impressions of this bike, it is super comfortable. I could definitely see riding this over my CBR 600. Not to say I'm going to get rid of mine just yet, but when the time comes to transition i definitely like this it has plenty of power i'm sure it will handle great on some back mountain roads wow much different than my bike so while he's out cruising my hair is all jacked up but we're gonna check out some triumphs because they're pretty sweet Right, 
So a little look at the Triumph. So parents are right there. Dad signed everything for the new bike. Uh, like Mike said earlier in the video, he had the Yamaha V-Star 650 back in 05 when I got my TTR 125. So now he's looking at a, well, not looking, he's buying the 1000, I think 1100 or something, CC Honda. So it'd be pretty cool to check out that kind of bike. I've never actually ridden one like that. But yeah, so Mike's riding, test driving the FZ09. Parents are, or dad's buying a bike. And I'm just looking at new bikes. So <laughs> we'll just walk around, kind of check out what's got, what they got going on. If you're wondering why I'm not on the demo drive, you have to have a motorcycle license. I still have my motorcycle permit, so it won't let me do anything. <laughs> so anyway, here is a super fun toy, the Honda Grom. If I lived at the beach, I would totally buy one of these things, just zip around. So after looking at the Grom, I just spotted all the Yamahas, which of course I'm a big fan of. But here we got the all new R1 and the R6s lined up. They look ridiculously awesome. R1M, wow. And yeah, that's that's real carbon fiber. Holy crap. I think these ones are like 22 grand, so they are pricey toys. But the new R1 is probably the best bike out there. about finished up purchasing the bike and Mike should be getting back from the demo ride in a little bit. So we'll then check out my dad's new bike, see what Mike thought of the FZ09 and then go from there. Here's our quick group here all on the demo bikes. So this was a free event. This was unexpected for today's adventure. so aggressive in that sport mode and then at race mode I should say Wow so they're probably getting back just shortly there is the giant Yamaha truck and trailer then mom's Ford escape looking all shiny well that was a fun cruise so now my dad has probably finished all the paperwork by now on the new bike so it's time to show you guys the new bike there's both of ours and time to head on home Dude, that was awesome. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you think? That was a really sweet bike. Like, yeah. the power in it is insane. I kept it in the uh, aggressive race mode for a little while. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, so touchy. Really? Yeah. I would, that's probably my next bike. Yeah? For sure. So, like, our bikes have the high-end horsepower. This has, like, more torque, kind of, or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even, even in standard and auto, or standard and whatever the other one is, A. Yeah. No, B. Yeah. Standard and B. It's just kind of cruising, but man, like like I said in the video here. So yeah, the power in it, I thought with a more upright style touring bike, it would be like not as powerful, just yeah. more touring. But I mean, 900 cc, so nine, it's bigger. Yeah, uh, I would definitely get that as my next bike. Yeah, it's so much more comfortable. On your back, <laughs> I bet for sure. Looks sick. How yeah. the how the exhaust sound? Dude, it pops. It's a full system. Yeah, I think yeah, full Yoshi system on this. Wow. It was popping, and I uh, hope I got it on exhaust here. We'll see what, um, how much the camera got of it. So our dad's bike has got the tag on it, is ready to go. We are ready to head out. So you can see we got his bike in the middle. Also got some fun checking out these demo bikes behind us here, so that was pretty cool. For you. Yeah, for me at least. And now it's time to get our 40 mile ride home in and take a look at the bike when we get home. Mom mobile coming in handy. Put all our gear in. So where are we, Mike? favorite motorcycle joint, Iron Thunder. For those of you who like hot wings, yeah. you know motorcycle bars are the best place. They're the coolest too. Yeah. I mean, everybody's always so nice. Okay, so we got my toy, the beautiful R6. This is the Honda Interstate 1300, I believe. I might be wrong. But Mike CBR, yeah, 1300. Yeah. Dad's liking that thing. But yeah. Back time. tires like crazy. Or time for some wings. So we are now 
home over 100 miles round trip on the bikes. That was my first time actually really riding the bike aside from just going to work and back. But yeah, here's a one last look. One thing really cool, it has heel toe shifter. So he can heel toe, downshift, upshift all day long. And then the secret latch to open saddlebags. Some saddlebags. Pretty cool, they're pretty solid leather. So the bike's got, what about 11,000? I think yeah. so. Yeah, just over 11,000. So we actually, I bought mine with just over 11 and Mike's bike was just over 11 when he bought it. How many do you have on your bike? I just passed 17,000. Dang. So 5,000 miles I've put on it. And you know what's ironic? <laughs> when I got the TTR 125 the same day, my dad bought his first motorcycle of this era. So bought that three weeks ago and now he's back to a bike. So we are bikers. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Well, I think that's about it. Over 100 miles on the street bikes. Actually over almost 200 for you since you came all the way home. Yeah. Maddie, what do you think? What do you think? She wants to go for a ride. Maddie wants to ride. Well, everybody, that is the vlog of the day. Buying a new bike, getting to test out some brand new Yamahas and see some new bikes. Adding to our crew of bikers. Well, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe if you are new to the channel. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next video.